Hello, my name is Michelle. I'm a registered dietitian at Mayo Clinic. This is the third video in the series on constipation. We are going to talk about lifestyle and dietary modifications. Lifestyle and dietary modifications include dietary management, adequate hydration, fiber supplements, laxatives, exercise, time bowel management, and alternative therapies. Although fiber supplements and laxatives can be very helpful, we are not going to be discussing those specifically in these series. Please contact your physician for further information on fiber and laxatives. Fiber and fluid may help you feel less constipated and bloated. It is really important to increase your fiber slowly over the course of a few weeks. This will keep your symptoms from getting worse. What is fiber? Dietary fiber refers to the edible parts of plants that cannot be digested. Fiber is in all plant foods, including fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, and legumes. There are soluble and insoluble fibers. Soluble fiber will slow digestion and helps absorb nutrients from foods. Insoluble will add bulk to your stool, helping the stool pass more quickly through the intestines. Most plant contains soluble and insoluble fiber. Soluble includes dried beans, oats, oat bran, rice bran, barley, citrus fruits, apples, strawberries, peas, and potatoes. Insoluble will be your wheat bran, your whole grains, your cereals, seeds, and the skins of many fruits and vegetables. Which type of fiber is best to ease constipation? Whole grain breads, cereals, and pastas. Cereal fibers have cell walls that resist digestion and retain water. This helps to keep that stool moist so it passes easily through the intestine. Wheat bran can be very effective as a natural laxative. Eat plenty of fresh fruits, vegetables, and legumes. The fiber in citrus fruit and legumes stimulate the growth of colonic flora, which increases your stool weight and amount of good bacteria in stool, promoting a healthy intestine. Prunes contain sorbitol. This is actually a natural laxative, and it, and it has that effect on the body. They are also high in disease-fighting antioxidants. They have both soluble and insoluble fiber. And three dried prunes will have as much as 3.9 grams of fiber. How much fiber do we need daily? The average American gets only about 11 grams of fiber daily. Women should aim for 21 to 25 grams of fiber daily. Men need a little bit more at 30 to 38 grams of fiber daily. The American Academy of Family Physicians recommends eating at least nine servings of fruits and vegetables daily. These are one half cup servings. Some tips for adding fiber to your eating plan. Again, slowly increasing that fiber to meet 21 to 38 grams daily. Eating whole grains containing 100% of whole wheat, rye, oats, or bran as the first or second ingredient. You can replace white rice with brown or wild rice. Choose a variety of grains such as barley, oats, farro, kamut, and quinoa. Replacing white flour with whole wheat flour. Add dry beans or peas to casseroles or soups or even salads. Choose fresh fruit or vegetables instead of the juices. And compare food labels of similar foods to higher fiber choices. This is an example of a food label. Everything listed on this food label is according to the serving size. For this example, the serving size is a half a cup. Coming down to the fiber, it has three grams of total fiber for that half a cup. If we eat more than that, let's say we have a cup of this particular food, then it would have six grams of fiber. Now that we've completed our third video in our series on constipation, we are going to move on and discuss more lifestyle modifications of meal planning tips, bowel management, 
adequate fluid and exercise.